Hirwan Sarna everyone. Today uh, I'm going to talk about a, a very important karma sthana. Uh, the name of the karma sthana is uh, Penapindua Asarai Rupe Asarai. I'm sure you have all heard about this. I will tell you what the karma sthana is first and then explain the meaning. Penapindua Asarai Rupaya Asarai Dia Bubula Asarai Vedana Asarai Miringua Asarai Sanya Asarai Kesel Kanda Asarai Sankara Asarai Maya Asarai Vinyana Asarai Here, uh, the most important thing is they are, they are talking about Penapindua, Diyabubula, Miringua, Keselkanda and Maya as being Asarai. So the main word here is Asarai, not the Penapindu or Diyabubula or Miringu or Keselkanda or Mayava. That is one thing you need to understand and these are, have been used as metaphors. For Penapindu has been used as a metaphor for Rupaya, Diyabubula for Vedana, Miringu for Sanya, Keselkanda for Sankara and Mayava for Vinyana. And um, again the important thing is Asarai. It says Asarai. So before going into um, one by one Asarai, let's find out what Asarai means. Asarai, uh, the Nirukti is Sara is its worth or it's, it's valuable, it's useful. So asara is the opposite of worth um, or valuable or useful, which is worthless, valueless and useless. So these are all worthless and valueless and useless. That is what you need to understand. So how does it become um, useless? So if you look at a penna pindua, what is a penna pindua? A penna pindua is a uh, form that is being uh, created by the dirty water, for example. Right? There is no value in that. This is what you need to understand. It is being created and uh, when you look at the form, what happens in itself is it accumulates together and it makes it look like there is something there. But actually what happens is it keeps producing more and more form in different different shapes and then a person looking at the form uh, gets the idea that oh there is something there but that's not true it is just being created right so this is um, the idea that you get by looking at it, if it's a Rupa, right? If you look at it as a Rupa Rupa, or it is the same with Shabda Rupa. If you are listening to something, what you do is you accumulate it together, right? And then you get the Shabda Rupa, or Rasa Rupa, or Ghanda Rupa, or Potabha Rupa. So, it is like a penna pindua. It is like form. And it is useless. It is worthless. And it's valueless. That is what you need to understand. Then if you move on to dia bubula. What is a dia bubula? It is a water bubble. Dia bubula asarai. There is no value in the water bubble. Again, as there is no value in the Vedana. 
Why is there no value? The water bubble pops any time, instantly. It doesn't take a second. You don't know when it's going to pop. It's the same with Vedana. If you need some kind of Vedana, you need to keep creating the Vedana. Pasa Pachya Vedana. Where there is Pasa, there is Vedana. There is no Pasa, there is no Vedana. So the more Vedana you need, the more, the more Sparsha you need to create. So that is why it's Asara. That's why it's worthless, valueless and useless. <coughs> Miringu Asara is Sanya Asara. What is a Miringu? Miringu is a mirage. You look at a mirage and get an idea. Oh, there is water. Actually, there isn't water. But you get an idea. Oh, there is water. So let's go towards it. So it's similar to that. So that is why it's a metaphor. Right? <coughs> the Sanya is the perception. You get an, a perception which is a wrong perception, a wrong view. So that is why you need to understand the uselessness of this Sanya that you get. There are Sanya Vipallasa. The wrong, the wrong views. That's why you need to uh, uh, work on the Dasa Sanya, Anicca Sanya, Anatta Sanya, Asuba Sanya, Adina Sanya, Sabbaloke, Anabhirata Sanya, Anapansati. <coughs> like that. Those are the Dasa Sanya that you need to focus on and work on. The normal Sanya that you get is worthless. So that is what you need to understand. Moving on to Kesel Kana. <coughs> what is a kesel kana? It is a banana tree. So you are looking for a trunk. In a banana tree, will you get it? No, you won't ever get a, a good trunk from a banana tree. So it is a useless process. Again, this is a metaphor. Don't take it as, oh, don't focus on the, the kesel kanda or the banana tree. It is nothing to do with that. It, you need to focus on the uselessness or the valuelessness or the worthlessness when it comes to the karma stani. It's similar to the sankara. It could be kaya sankara, vachi sankara, mano sankara. No matter what sankara it is, no matter how much you uh, put effort into it, end of the day it's worthless it's a worthless process that is what you need to understand moving on to maya what is a maya maya is a mag magic magician right so maya asarai vinyan asarai vinyan is a defiled uh, consciousness right so no matter how much you see it, the magic, how much you see it and you think, oh my God, this is amazing. Is that real? Actually, it's not real. You might see someone being cut through the middle of the body, cut into pieces, but that's not real. You see it as if that's the truth, but that's not the truth. So it is similar to that. That's why it's a metaphor. So again, like Maya, like the magician, whatever the, the defiled consciousness that you get, give you a wrong understanding, wrong uh, uh, view. So you need to be careful. You need to make sure you see correctly through Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta. And whatever comes as a consciousness is valueless, useless and worthless. This is what you need to understand. So when one understands all these as asara, that, that person understands that the world is asara. Or the world is worthless. The world is valueless or useless. So being in this world itself is useless. 
So that is when that person turns around 180 degrees and then walks towards Nibbana. No, no, no. It's no point in walking through this world. There is nothing valuable, nothing worth doing in here. So I need to attain, attain a Nibbana or attain a, a enlightenment. So that is when you turn around and walk the path. So you need to understand this. How you understand is by applying anicca dukkha anatta. So this is what this karmasthana means. When one understands this karmasthana, that person stops the process of abhisankara. So rupa vedana sanya sankara vinyana are the panchas khandaya. So panchas khandaya is not the problem. Pancha upadana skande is the problem. Pancha skande, even Arihatunuhanse has the pancha skande. Right? It's the, the five aggregates. So the, the pancha upadana skande, which you create by getting attached uh, with Chandarage or with Trushna, is what you need to get rid of. So Rupa Upadane, Vedana Upadane, Sanya Upadane, Sankara Upadana Skande, Vinyan Upadana Skande are the problems. So this is what you need to understand. Then when one understands this, that person stops the process of Abhisankara or roaming around, looking for Asada. So this is what happened. You try to look for Asada in this when you don't understand. But once you understand the concepts, once you understand uh, the reality, you turn around and stop the process or at least try to stop the process because you understand it's a useless or a valueless or a worthless process, right? And then the roaming around stops. Nirodha, that is what Nirodha means, Rodha. Rodha is roaming. So where there is no road, where there is no roaming around, that means nirodha. So then you can come to the karmasthana, rupa nirodai nivansua denenava. <coughs> In order for you to feel nivana, you need to stop the roaming around uh, um, after rupa. After Vedana, after Sanya, after Sankara, after Vinyana. So when one understands this and stops, then that person gets to the field. Rupa nirodai nivan suvadane nava Vedana nirodai nivan suvadane nava Sanya nirodai nivan suvadane nava Sankara nirodai nivan suvadane nava Vinyana nirodai nivan suvadane nava Lokaya nirodai nivan suvadane nava so that is what happened, loka nirodai. So you are not going looking for asad, running around. You are not roaming around. So not roaming around is nirodha. When you hear a noise, you are not going to run around. What is that noise? Looking for what it is. When you see something, you are not going to create abhisankara. Seeing something is vipaka. There is no problem in vipaka. But Abhisankara is the problem. So this is what you need to understand. So now two karmasthana has been explained. The first one is the Pinapindu uh, Asarai, Rupi Asarai. And then after you understand the Asara or the worthlessness or the valueless or the uselessness, then you come to the understanding, okay, now I'm not going to roam around which then you come to the pen, uh, rupa nirodai nivansua dhananava 
um, uh, again I can uh, I will explain another karma sana at the same time which has a link to uh, these two which is uh, asadeng shunya u rupa nirodai nimansu denenava so asadeng shunya so that means there is no gratification in the rupa therefore i am not going to roam around the rupa there is no asada in vedana therefore i am not going to roam around vedana there is no asada or gratification in uh, uh, perceptions so i am not going to roam around sanya there is no gratification in sankara there is uh, therefore i am not going to roam around sankara there is no asada or gratification in vijnana therefore i am not going to roam around vijnana so that is the the next karma sthana which is asaden shunya vu rupa nirodai nivansu adane nava asaden shunya vu vedana nirodai nivansu adane nava asaden shunya vu sanya nirodai nivansu adane nava asaden shunya vu sankar nirodai nivansu adane nava asaden shunya vu vijnana nirodai nivansu adane nava asaden shunya vu loka nirodai nivansu adane nava so um, these are the three karma sthana which is uh, linked together the first one i'm sure you understood pena pindu asarai rupa asarai the most important thing you need to understand is that these are metaphors don't go into detail about pena pindu or dia bubula or miringo or kesel kanda or maya what you need to understand is the fact that these are worthless processes right and then when you understand that the world or the abhisankara process itself is worthless then you stop the abhisankara process then you can say nirodai right and because when you when you stop the the roaming around the process of abhisankara that is when you feel the tranquility so that is when you can say nivansu darenova and again asade shunya these are uh, uh these have no asada a uh, rupa vedana sanya sankara vijnana they don't have asada in there so when you understand that then again you feel the tranquility i hope you understood this if you have any questions please comment below or ask questions below so that i can uh, reply to your questions therwan sanna